there is nothing like a warm, buttery, slightly crisp, but soft flatbread served on the side of a meal or simply just by itself. Garlic butter naan is the superior flatbread. And right now I'm gonna show you how you can make it at home. Let's turn up the heat. This dough is pretty basic, but it's got the addition of one special ingredient that'll set this dough apart from the rest. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first, get a half cup of water, and you need this between 100 and 110 degrees. Do this by bringing it over to your microwave and simply warming it up. Once your water is within that 10 degree range, that's a perfect environment for your yeast, so go ahead and add two and a quarter teaspoons or one packet of active dry yeast. This yeast needs a couple minutes to sit back, recline, relax, and unwind. It also needs a little bit of food, so you're gonna toss in one teaspoon of sugar. Give that a little whiskey business. Now just let this get foamy. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, but now we can move on to the dry. Starting with two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Now if you know traditional naan or you've had it in a restaurant, it's made by slapping it on the inside wall of a tandoor oven. I was fortunate enough to be able to use one in the past, but now I don't have access to it. So I needed to figure out how you could make restaurant style naan inside your home. Now you can go in with one half teaspoon of salt. Give that a quick toss and make a little well in the center of your flour. Now before I dump in these yeasty boys, I said I'd let you take a look. So right here you can see that it's getting nice and foamy. It's got a little head right on the top. And now you can go ahead and add this to your dry. Right in the center of that liquid, go ahead and add one tablespoon of really any kind of oil. I'm using olive oil. And for that special ingredient that I mentioned in the beginning, one quarter cup of plain yogurt. This is gonna be like a glue. It's gonna hold that dough together, add moisture, and it's gonna give it that tender and fluffy texture. Now simply begin to just mix this with a rubber spatula. Mix, mix, mix until you can't any longer. And now get rid of that spatula and go in with your hands. Bring this dough together, forming a ball. Once you get that ball, go ahead and toss this out onto a floured work surface. Begin to knead this ball for about 10 minutes. Now with any kind of cake recipe, it's always don't develop gluten. You're making a bread, you want as much gluten as you can get. So really work this dough, develop that gluten structure, and once it's fully kneaded, your dough should be nice, soft, and supple. It should bounce back when poked and should have a nice little stretch when pulled. Oil that mixing bowl down, toss your dough baby, directly into the center of that bowl and let this bad boy rise for about an hour or until it's doubled in size. While that dough's on vacation, getting all plump and fat, go ahead and take four cloves of garlic. I'm bringing out the microplane because I don't really want to mince this garlic. I don't want big bites of garlic inside the naan. I kind of almost want like a garlic paste. And the microplane will work wonders in creating that garlic paste. Once that baby dough has matured into an adult dough, Go ahead and punch it down, completely degas, and plop this out onto your work surface. Now you can go ahead and divide this into six to eight pieces, depending on how big you want these to be. I'm gonna go with eight, just so they're, you know, like a normal size and they're not giant. <laughs> Once they're all cut up, go ahead and take each corner and fold it into the center. And to be honest, you don't even need to do that traditional roll where you cup it and turn it into a perfect ball. Once those corners are in the center, just roll it over. Now you can just roll it out. Get your rolling pin and roll this out into basically like an oval. You could do a circle, you could do an oval, whatever shape you want. Hell, you could do a triangle. Now, while you're rolling this out, you wanna make sure you're getting a pan on medium heat. Once all your dough's rolled out, go ahead, grab just a little bit of garlic, rub that over one side of the dough. Now lift your dough up and on that bottom side that doesn't have garlic, you're gonna be spreading a little bit of water. Just get your fingertips just slightly wet and dab on a little bit of water just to make it kind of pasty and tacky. And now both sides of that dough is prepped. You've got your pan started on medium heat. It's ready to go and I'm ready to go. So let's do it. Take your naan and water side down, garlic side up. Go ahead, toss it in. It should stick and then bubbles should start to form. Once you start to get bubbles and you start to smell toasty notes, you know it's getting cooked. So instead of flipping your dough, we're gonna grab this pan and flip the pan. Just like a tandoor oven where that dough gets slapped on the inside and it's inverted, we're doing the same thing here. Now that that pan's upside down, 
Go ahead, get that close to that burner. Let that open flame char and brown the other side of that dough. Some spots, like the top of the bubbles, might start to burn and turn black. That's okay, if you go to an Indian restaurant and you get naan, you'll definitely have some dark spots. But other spots will be golden brown, and those dark spots will be beautiful and crispy. There's really no mistakes. It's pretty hard to mess up. Once that side's done, go ahead and reinvert the pan back onto the burner, and now just get it unstuck from the pan. Once it's out, go ahead and repeat this process with the rest of your dough. Now I mentioned butter earlier, so go ahead and melt just a little bit of butter. And now for the final touch, all we need to do is brush some beautiful melted butter right over that toasty garlic side. And right there is a beautiful garlic butter naan. Slightly crispy, slightly soft, buttery deliciousness. And now all you need to do is enjoy. And enjoy I will. Perfect garlic butter naan, golden brown on the bottom, slightly crispy on top. Give it a tear. Restaurant style naan right inside your home. That garlic and butter is really coming through. That char really kind of makes it have that authentic feel like straight out of the tandoor oven. Go make this. It is absolutely delicious. If you like this video and you like naan, give it a big fat thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. And until next time, peace.